Open source Android applications are absolutely amazing. You and I both love to use them as well as find new ones. So in today's video, I'm bringing to you guys five amazing open source Android applications that you might not have heard before, but are regardless some of the best applications that are ad free, that actually respect your privacy and that bring you really cool functionalities. Now, some of these are from F-Droid, so be sure to download it from the link in the description below. Some of them you can also find directly in the Play Store. All the links will be in the description. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. This is Anwar here. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. All right, guys, so the first application on the list goes by the name of OpenBoard. And as the name suggests, OpenBoard is actually a keyboard replacement application that respects your privacy and that does not spy on you. Now, it has absolutely no dependencies to any other search engine whatsoever like Gboard has with Google. And this is an application that also follows the design language of Gboard as well as an old Android keyboard. So it looks really, really nice. When you open up the application, you can set it directly as your keyboard. It's actually a little better than Floris Board, which is another open source keyboard application. This has a dialed in uh, the predictive text a little more and I feel that this is just a more polished version of the same application. Inside the app on the settings, you can turn on a couple of preferences like showing hints, vibrating as well as sound option on key presses, showing numbers row, showing a lot of the emoji key, the voice input key and the clipboard key. But all in all, as far as a keyboard is concerned, I feel like this is a great keyboard replacement solution, especially if you are a person who wants something open source and you really care about privacy, you don't want your keyboard to be spying on you. This is an app that you should definitely download. The link will be in the description below. Continuing the train of apps that respect your privacy, we've got Tracker Control. And Tracker Control is a really, really cool application. Basically, it uses the VPN connectivity option that we have on our phones to open up every single application and see what kind of data that they track and where do they send that data. Now, inside the application, not only can you see all the information like the tracker libraries, turn on monitoring and internet access, and you can also block the essential data that is being sent from the app to other service providers, let's say for ads or God knows what. You can also browse to the My Data section, limit the personalization as well as manage the data by either requesting the data or request deletion according to the EU General Data Protection Regulation which allows you uh, to you know delete the data in case any manufacturer or any app developer has it and if you want them to delete it. You can also block the trackers and select trackers manually, which I think is really, really cool. And you can also see where the destination country, where the phone actually sends the tracking data to. You can do this for every single application. And I feel like this is an incredibly helpful app, not just to educate yourself about the rules as well as the rights that we have as uh, consumers and users among people who collect our data, and also give you some sort of uh, you know power to control the data that you do send out in the hands of these companies. Speaking about data and the fact that we give data, app number three is called Photon and it's an open source, completely ad-free, privacy, 100% data transfer solution for Windows, iOS, Mac, Android, etc. Now, if you've always wanted a solution where you just want to send high resolution and high quality files from your Android phone to the computer or any other cross platform, but you don't want ads you don't want anybody to have a look at that data etc etc this is a great application simply install it on your phone make sure that both your source device as well as the device that you want to send data to is connected either to the same wi-fi network or you are connected to your phone's hotspot you can also use your hotspot and you can have the option to either share files or applications or receive files and applications either in the normal mode or the QR mode, which as you guessed it, you have to scan the QR to start the process. Now, the app is really cool. It's completely open source, so there's nothing to worry about. It's also on the Play Store, which is always a good sign. It's completely free. You can download it, share files to your heart's content without worrying about your data or get personalized ads for that matter. And uh, yeah, have a good one with this application. With that said, guys, at number four, I've got a really cool app called Video Transcoder. 
Now, the application's UI seems pretty dated and you know, the, when you open up the application, the only option that you literally have is to select the video that you want to transcode. Now, transcoding is a process of changing the format of the video to something else. You can use this app for a plethora of different things. Number one, select the video. Over here, you can see the basic settings. So you can select uh, the format of the file, whether it's an AVI, an MP3, a GIF, an MP3, etc. This means that you could effectively turn videos into audios by changing the format from an mp4 to an mp3 you can also change the video settings and the codec for you to compress it or to expand it change the resolution change the fps as well as the bitrate and also the audio settings it's really cool if you want to transform or change the format of one video to another video you know extract it as an audio as a gif etc etc whatever the use case may be this is an application with which you can do all of this on your phone itself you don't have to transfer it to a separate computer or you know basically use an extra tool to just do this which is to transcode it from one format to the other pretty cool application i think you guys should have a look at it last but not the least guys in today's list is in your app manager now this application not only has a fantastic ui if i might say so myself but is probably the only app manager that you will ever need now of course being an app manager it lets you view all the applications that are installed in your phone whether they are stock applications that are required for the phone to run or the applications that you have installed and yeah the ui is also super cool it's got the material U theme on it you can also open up a terminal and give terminal commands you can see the usage statistics for every single application whether it is instagram uh, youtube nova you know how it is you can also tap on a particular app see the app information see the usage statistics how long have you used it and when have you used it see add a couple of notes if you want to about the same application view the permissions services certificate receivers etc etc you can also extract an abk go to the play store listing of it the amazon app store listing of it honestly so many tools inside this application you can also see the sensors in your phone and how they are working view data on that see your most used applications go ahead and uninstall batch uninstall apps see the disabled apps that you no longer use and honestly if you need a one-stop shop for you know managing all the apps that you have installed on your phone this one is ad free it's open source doesn't track data and just gives you heaps of information this too is available on the google play store so you can download it from there as well but i would recommend you download most of these applications from fdroid which is an open source android repository and mostly i get my open source apps from fdroid as well so i would recommend you to download it from there only and not go to the play store since these apps are open source and it's you're much better off if you install them as apks directly from fdroid and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy this one until then you guys have a great day let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite open source android apps and if you want me to continue making videos on topics like this with that said this is anwar signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys stay safe peace out bye bye